on Gold Coast, because you've mentioned them, we had a message from John. He said, uh, what's achievable for them next season? Playoffs, for sure. Um, I think, you know, not only has Justin Holbrook proved that he is a very good coach with whatever resource you give him, but he's going to start having his own team next year. Some of the recruitment is massive and, and you know, that's just the other David Fafita, um, who could be anything. But, but clearly, Holbrook is... Um, you know, he's, he's not only a very talented coach, as we saw here, but has the ability to create a culture, whatever that means. And I know we, we had a laugh with, with Scoey about it. You know, why is he going from the top team in Super League to the bottom team in the in the NRL? Because he's just a good coach and he can make players better. And I think that uh, he's already proved this year that he's got what it takes to coach in the NRL. I think now with his own players around him, with his own um way of doing things within the club for a year. Uh, they genuinely are top eight contenders next year for absolute sure. And I may even better than that. Yeah, spot on. Spot on what Phil said. I thought they'd be better this year than they were last year. They've probably exceeded that. Um, and with with Tino and Fafida and Herman SASA, they've got a massive forward pack there. Um, and he's not only a very good coach, Justin Holbrook, but a, but a nice guy. Um, so it's good to see him do see him doing well, and I thought the outcry in Australia, which was quite funny, when he got the job and Kevin Walters didn't, was just sort of a reflection of the agendas that you often see, um, because Kevin Walters is you know works for Fox League and's got a lot of mates. You know he's a nice guy apparently as well, but he's got a lot of mates in the media. But uh, I think it just goes to show that Holbrook had the runs on the board, uh, not only as an assistant in the NRL, but, you know, the success he had with St. Helens. Um, and he's just continued that on. So I think the Gold Coast, you know, they've never won anything in their history. So it's quite a good good news story to see them improving and getting better and, and hopefully, you know, just continuing that upward uh, journey. Yeah. 